Women, as we know, is the weaker sex, the second sex, the lesser sex. Disparaging terms, no doubt, but terms which reflect the reality with which women are unfortunately faced. Cultural values have always given women a lower status than men in society. The girl child is discriminated against birth and now with recent technological advances even before birth. The consequences of this inferior status have found expression in various forms like female feticide, female infanticide, a high morbidity and mortality rate among women, lower literacy rate, lower levels of employment, and an adverse sex ratio. In India, unlike in the rest of the world, the sex ratio is unfavorable to women, 933 for every thousand males, as per 2001 census report, a ratio that has been declining throughout this century. Every year, 12 million girls are born, 1.5 million die before their first birthday, another 8,50,000 before their fifth, and only 9 million will be alive at the age of 15. Some of the health problems that affect women the most are nutrition-related problems, reproductive health-related problems, general medical-related problems, work-related problems, mental health problems, and violence-related problems. Let me start with the nutrition-related problem. Poor nutrition is the most common and most disabling health problem among women in poor countries. Since infancy, she is breastfed less, and through childhood, a girl child is given less food to eat than a boy. As a result, she grows more slowly and her bones are not well formed, which may cause difficulty during childbirth. The problem worsens as she becomes a young woman because her need for good food increases and as she starts her monthly bleeding, she is married, gets pregnant and breastfeeds. Despite the fact that food production has increased over the decades, Malnourishment is a major problem and a majority of Indian women belonging to the lower socio-economic strata are undernourished. In the study by Amritya Sen, a systematic sex bias was reflected in higher deprivation of girls face-to-face -face boys. At every level, girls were systematically more undernourished. Without enough good food, she may suffer from general poor health like exhaustion, weakness and anemia. In India, up to 80% of pregnant women are anemic and 20% are stunted. If a woman who is malnourished becomes pregnant, she is more likely to suffer from complications like infection, heavy bleeding, or a baby that is born too small. The next health-related problem regarding women is the reproductive health problem. A woman is more likely to get reproductive tract infections than a man. Her reproductive tract is more prone to infection. In case of sexually transmitted diseases, a man's semen can stay in the genital tract of women and the germs that it carries can enter into her blood through the lining of the genital tract. Women often have little control over decisions about sex and often cannot refuse unsafe sex. As a result, 165 million women get an STD every year. Without treatment, these infections can cause disabling pain, severe pelvic inflammatory disease or PID, infertility, problems during pregnancy, and an increased risk of cervical cancer. 
In August 2006, India released new estimates of people living with HIV. The estimates have been made by National AIDS Control Organization or NACO and supported by UN AIDS and World Health Organization. These estimates indicate that national adult prevalence in the country is approximately 0.36% which corresponds to estimate 2 million to 3.1 million living with HIV. The new estimate shows an increasing feminization of the epidemic. Frequent pregnancies and unsafe abortions also give women complications regarding pregnancy and childbirth. Frequent pregnancies or childbirth means she is unable to have a control over her own life to get an education or to acquire skills to support herself. Unsafe abortions also leave behind lasting pain and other health-related problems. The next health-related problem that affects women is the general medical-related problem. Women are more likely to suffer from health problems due to delay in receiving medical care. A disease can cause a different set of effects on a woman than men. For example, tuberculosis can cause infertility and malaria can cause abortions and stillbirths. Both men and women may suffer from the same disease. Women are less likely to seek medical treatment unless they are seriously ill. For example, both men and women suffer from tuberculosis worldwide but fewer women seek medical treatment. In India, out of the 10 million who have tuberculosis, 2.5 million are infectious and 5 lakh die every year. Out of this, one half or more are women. The next problem that affect women is a work-related health problem. Women also suffer health risks every day from the work that they do. At home, lung diseases from smoke and burns from cooking fires form major health problems. Waterborne diseases are also very common. In the fields, they are exposed to harmful pesticides which affect their health as well as the health of the unborn fetus. Millions of women who work outside their homes suffer from health problems due to difficult working conditions. And when they come home, they continue to work and this results in doing twice as much work. This may lead to illness. According to a study conducted by Astra, published in the form of paper entitled Rural Energy Consumption Patterns, a field study by Indian Institute of Science in 1981. While women average about six hours a day on survival related and agricultural tasks, men average about four hours a day on the same. Taking into account the time spent on domestic work, that is cleaning, sweeping, washing clothes, utensils, and childcare, and productive work, the study concluded that the contribution of men, women, and children is 35%, 53%, and 16% respectively. The next problem that affect women is the mental health problem. Women and men have about the same risk of developing mental health problem. Women are more likely to suffer from mental health problem. Severe depression, however, affects many more women than men. It often affects women who are poor, who have suffered loss of violence because of social pressure or harassment for dowry, or whose communities have been destroyed 
or undergone great change. But women are silent about this problem, and silence usually leads to anxiety, depression, headaches, and body aches. In India, mental health is an area that has been completely ignored by government and psychological treatment is only a very small part of the overall healthcare system. In our country, the concept of availing psychiatric treatment is still new, often looked upon with suspicion and associated with insanity. Most women find solace in indigenous methods through spiritual or religious healing or a study of astrological configurations to justify existing levels of stress and mental hardship. The last problem that affect women is the violence related health problem. Violence is often overlooked as a health problem, but violence can lead to serious injuries, mental disabilities, physical disabilities, and even death. A large percentage of violence in India is dowry related, and this results in serious injuries and even death. Many girls and young women are sexually abused by their family members, husbands, and even friends. Alcohol-related violence is another serious problem causing havoc in the lives of women. This problem happens in almost all parts of the world and under all types of conditions. In India, 35% of women in the age group 15 to 49 have experienced physical or sexual violence at some point in their life. At least one in seven of married and divorced women have suffered injury as a result of spousal violence. In 1989, 6,500 dowry crimes were registered by police in Delhi alone. Of this, a mere 1,500 of the accused were arrested and all of them were released on bail. More than 20,000 such cases are pending in the Supreme Court. A bride's life is snubbed out at the rate of one every 12 hours. The inadequate healthcare system, especially in the rural areas, makes medical services less favorable and accessible to women who have already been marginalized by poverty and discrimination. Poverty and discrimination in the family and in community not only lead to more health problems for women, they also make healthcare system less likely to provide services women need. It is therefore important that in the absence of trained doctors, adequate skills and training should be provided to the nurses, traditional birth attendants and health workers to provide women health services.